Hello people and welcome back. So in this video I want to make the transition uh, from smooth uh, going from first person to iron side and just to quickly recap what we had from last time when we come into first person uh, we have the aiming and we can switch to iron side and it's gonna make us zoom back. So I want to make that transition a bit smoother. Um, so actually, first of all, um, let's just start off uh, from scratch. So <coughs> yeah, let's also get rid of that. So we're going to use our sniper zoom uh, timeline, I think. Yeah. Um, let's see, what do we have in here? We have a, an ex, a curve going, a float curve on one of these guys here, uh, going from, uh, let's see, from 90 to 60, no, 45. So this is, uh, yeah, this is the inter, um, uh, the field of view. And then we have an opacity, which I will actually rename just to call this alpha. And that's going to be clear in a minute why I want to call it that. So that is still going to go from zero to one. So nothing new there. Just I just renamed the, uh, the timeline. Actually, I want to. Can I rename it? Yeah, I can rename it. Can I call it um, Ironside timeline? Okay, so. Let's um, actually let's leave it here for a bit. <coughs> so um, what we want to do first is actually to check um, what the, we we only want to switch into um, um, iron side if we are in uh, first person. So we have a function for that get view mode. <coughs> Let's open that one up. So this is taking our first person cam, which is just returning our first person camera and checking if uh, that is equal to the active camera. And last video I mentioned that I kind of decided not to use these, fu these functions because yeah, well, um, so just for clarity, let me just bring down the first person camera, this one. I could have just left that, but anyway. Um, so what we, um, the principle of this uh, transition is that we are actually going to uh, add, a, uh, what is this, the, we have the first follow, and we have the first person camera, and we have an iron side, so that's three cameras, so we want to add a fourth camera which is going to be called um, a transition camera. Did we call the other ones? Well, I didn't really be strict, was strict with the naming. Anyway, we don't need to parent that up or anything. Just want to make sure that we disable also activate also. And the thing about uh, this in first person state is that uh, actually when we are in um, since we're going only going to be using this one in first person to switch from uh, first person to iron side and also an iron side strictly speaking is a kind of a first person thing then we want to add a few of these so uh, it's got to be equal to this one or it got to be equal to this one so as yeah as i said it's going to be that or that or that it's gonna require us to add an or in between here. Add another one, it's an or. That's gonna say, okay, so if it's one of these, then um, we are in first person, and the third person is gonna go into a not, and yeah, well, as you can see. Um, Make this a little well, 
that didn't help much, did it? Nope. It actually just made it worse. <laughs> Pain. Okay. Well, that's going to be okay for this case. So we have a view mode, and we only want to do uh, be able to switch out in uh, in um, first person. So, and what we also only want to be doing is uh, do something with this if we have a, a weapon equipped. Um, that's another function we made last time, um, which is saying, do we have an equipped item and is it valid and is it a weapon? And then it's going to return uh, true if this one. Um, yeah, if this one succeeds to cast as a weapon, and actually, why did we drag from this one? We want to drag from this one. Okay. Anyway, let's continue. So um, we want to make a branch here, and say both of these uh, statements have to be true. So we uh, need to end add an end. Hmm this one and in first person this one okay and um, off from the weapon we want to get the um, uh, weapon info now the weapon info um, connect that up to the true um, the weapon info is um, I think I covered this a long time ago but it's an interface function right now, which we can call to uh, on an interactable. So if you have no idea what that is, uh, then go back and review some of the earlier tutorials. But basically what we want to get out of this, if you don't have this and uh, have a different setup, is just to get the, the correct um, uh, weapon iron side cam offset, which we found in the previous two or three pe uh, videos back and um, so you don't really need this if uh, if you don't have this exact setup so I'm just gonna break this one up okay so uh, and the value we're interested in is this one so we wanna um, hold on let's see gotta check something um, yeah, we want to set the, uh, because we are switching to iron side, we want to uh, set the relative lo uh, location. So I uh, realize I'm repeating something now, but it's just to make things more clear what I'm doing. So all this stuff here, all this um, from the right click up until we set the relative location um, that actually only has, has to be uh, it has to be run in both situations if we release and um, um, because if we zoom in into iron side and then uh, scroll the mouse button uh, then we would end up in third person and um, well, strange things would happen, I believe. Um, so I think all this needs to be run. Well, let's just let's make this test later on. OK, so uh, we need to move this down a little bit because we have quite a lot of space here to begin with. So what I was yapping about here is I need to copy all this for now and maybe I'll be able to remove it. Uh, of course, I can't really tell um, because this part I haven't really tested out. <coughs> so the thing is, uh, we have a uh, we just added a transition camera. So let's uh, drag that in, and um, from this one we um, want to set the world transform. Um, nope, this one. Sorry. This one. 
So the transform is basically a co combination of uh, location, rotation, and scale. So we combine that. Um, and the uh, transition camera, we are when we are zooming into um, um, Ironside, we want to start off in the first person camera view. Uh, so we're going to take the first person camera and um, here, drag off and get well transform. And then plug that in. So that says uh, we want to start the, uh, the transition camera here. And what we want to do then is to take that same camera and then activate it. Here. And as you remember, all this stuff here is uh, saying uh, we are disabling the previous active camera and then we are setting this camera to be active and updating our active camera variable. Variable. Okay. So um, from here, we want to find our timeline, which I put away somewhere down here. So in the case where we uh, go into um, Ironside, we want to connect up the, um, the play. And then um, we want to do a few things. Um, because uh, from the update here, uh, we want to what we want to transition is the um, uh, let's see it's the trans transition transition camera and we want to change that uh, transformation well transform this one and we want to base that off a new transform and that is gonna be a, a lerp transform so the, the thing with the lerp is that it takes, uh, you can use it both for floats or, and for vectors and everything, the, but it takes a, an alpha. So alpha of zero means that it's going to take um, the value from the bottom and as a value of one is going to take the top one. Um, so let's see, was that right? Did I say something wrong there? Uh, hang on a sec. Uh, let's drag this one. Oh, um, Gotta get the first person camera and get that weld transform. No, well, well, it's the opposite way. So if it's zero, then it's gonna take the top one, and if it's one, that's also more logical. Uh, and if it's one, uh, like whoop, like this, then it's gonna take the bottom B transform. Okay. So um, right now we. Uh, that we don't care what this is because we are actually just going to plug in the alpha and the alpha uh, is the one going from zero to one <clears throat> well whatever um, so uh, and the other one is going to be the the iron side camera that's where we want to uh, go to so um, get we'll transform for that one as well and drag into b so that's actually what we are going to do on every update here. Okay. Um, and let's see, um, can we test this now? Uh, I think we can actually, let's see. Uh, bring out the weapon and then right click and it's going to pop us up here. So right now the the camera is moving, but we got a, a nice transition. Let's try that out again. And go into first person, and then I'm going to slow down time. So it's going to make this transition. So the idea with uh, making this transition is that if you wanted to take aim, you kind of ex ex uh, imagine that your hands are a bit down, and then you would pull up the hands towards your eyes so this is actually where we are cheating a little bit because right now it looks like we're pulling the hands up but actually we're pulling the camera down so that's where the trick comes in <coughs> so uh, well 
Oops. So um, let's just say as okay. Um, let's pull that up there. And when once we're finished, then we wanna uh, do one or two things. So for now, we are just gonna because we're testing right now. So we are gonna say one once we're finished, we wanna activate the iron side camera. So activate camera. So once that's finished, it's just gonna go into this one. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so we right click, and now we are in, uh, in our um, iron side mode. We can't get out of it. So that's what we're gonna take a look at next. Um, so um, actually what we need as a, uh, as a new uh, variable for this, uh, we need to add a Boolean. Let's call this to, um, to iron side. And um, we can start off by adding it at the end when we're finished and see how that uh, works. So uh, this variable is gonna be, when we finish, we wanna check, I'm gonna make a branch first in between here. So we wanna check, uh, are we going to iron side? Yes or no? And to begin with, this is gonna be false. So let's say, um, um, compile and save. So, uh, what is my default here? So, to begin with, we want to go into this one and then we want to change it to false. Okay. So, right click and then uh, we still can't get out of it. Um, so um, let's continue with the bottom one down here. So uh, we have all this stuff we just copied and um, let's get, we have the iron side cam. Well, um, when we wanna go the other way around, um, let's see, uh, we still wanna set this one maybe because Let's say you zoomed in and your control allowed you to change the background. That doesn't really make sense. Actually, it doesn't really make sense. This, okay, because I can't really figure out what is, is the correct way to do it. Uh, just copy this if you want to follow along. <laughs> I will probably change this in, the, in a later video. Anyway, what we want to do with the, with the beginning trans, uh, camera is going to uh, say we are going to start off in the um, what is my oh here this one um, we want to start off in the iron side cam when we go back and um, add that one and then we want to activate that camera uh, the the same camera that transition camera we just made and then we want to reverse uh, this one so um, once we come back we want to activate the, the first person camera And then we want to change the state of this one. Okay. So let's test that out. Okay, so we can now jump in and when we release, it's gonna pop back out. So now we can, it looks like he's pulling out the arms and then releasing, he's putting it down. Now this is pretty good. Um, what I don't really like is if I click and it catches in between and actually it ends up re being reversed. So you can't really see that. But so um, what we want to do, because this is this variable is only set if I'm finished. Uh, so if this uh, timeline doesn't finish, uh, then the variable will not be set and uh, 
kind of will have things mixed up. So <clears throat> what we can do to fix this is to say get away with that. And we can, um, let's see, we can say uh, in the beginning here, we can just say um, set to power inside to be true and set to side to be false. And that basically means that um, we are making sure to say um, when this finishes, uh, we will set the, the uh, respective camera uh, correctly depending on, on the initial value. So let's see how we can see it. And actually you can see if I release, it will transition smoothly in between. So we can actually end up in iron side like this. Okay, I think uh, that's the basic uh, of what I wanted to show here. A little bit of cleaning up could be nice. So I think actually what I would end up by doing here is to take this part here and let's see this part here, yeah, and say collapse to a macro. And that's gonna create this guy. And let's call that check if we can iron side. And let's go into that. <clears throat> we gave it this horrible name. Um, this is just, um, the, um, what is this actually? This is um, iron side in offset okay and uh, this is quite big as it is now so we want to make this a little bit smaller if we can so we can take this and we can take all of that and replace with that and put that one in and connect that one up again and connect that one up again so um, what else can we uh, make prettier? Well, this part here, we can also collapse to a macro. So this is gonna be called, what did I call it? Transform something. <clears throat> Transform aim cam, like that. And then just move this over a little bit and a little bit of this and a little bit of that and um, pull this over in and then we have a much prettier um, blueprint called this iron sight stuff the stuff is a good word and well, I don't know if you want to do that actually I don't want maybe well yeah okay um, the last part I didn't really uh, do anything about is uh, changing the oh I need a little bit space more changing the uh, field of view so the field of view um, could be changed in here because we have the transition camera and um, we can drag off from this and set um, field of view. Oh, not that one. This one. And we can uh, take this guy here and we can add a new one called field of view. Call that, make it a float. And we can connect that one up. And we make a little reroute something. Okay. Um, so that the field of view. Oh, that's just a, it's just a mess. Okay, can't live with that. Sorry. Need to remove the alpha. Need to add a new. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, 
it just hurts my eyes when you have too many crossing lines. Uh, actually, this one is also a bit annoying. <sighs> anyway, now it's hidden away. <laughs> uh, sorry, um, that was really irrelevant. So, connect this one out. Um, so now we are setting the field of view for the um, during the transition and what we just need to do finally is to take the iron set cam and make sure that uh, when we reach the final state we will also set the field of view um, for the iron set camera actually we, we could hard code that so it didn't really need to uh, anyway that's because different weapons can have different field of views so that's also a value we could, but then we would need a different timeline, I believe. Okay, blah, blah. Um, <clears throat> let's see how that looks now. So we will slow motion and it's gonna go all the way up. So, <laughs> because I dragged it off from the alpha. Great, let's try that again. <laughs> so all the way up like that. So when we take that in slow motion, it's going to look like this and release. It's going to put the weapon down. And um, well, one last detail you might want to do, uh, I haven't done it yet actually, um, is to, um, okay, this looks cool. Huh? I like that. Uh, is to because the field of view is something that would change pretty quickly in the beginning and uh, like uh, in the beginning and then um, the motion would be different so you could actually if you really want to make this really really nice um, something like uh, what's that one I could add something like um, add an extra key something like uh, so it would for example okay I'm sorry I have never I have really not worked with these a lot I know you can bend it is it also was, why was this done now? Uh, also? Okay. Wait. Uh, okay. Well, something, for example, like maybe this. I don't know if that makes any difference at all, but it's, some, it, it's a way to kind of differentiate the, um, the transition for. Um, why does this keep uh, popping in? Um, differentiate the, um, the mo transition so that the movement will appear different. And uh, from the. Um, oh! This is the alpha I changed. That's great. No, no. Okay. No. Anyway, you don't have to look at me play around with this. Um, and that is actually what i wanted to show for this video i'm gonna just gonna fix this up i changed the wrong one i wanted to change the field of view actually so um i hope you enjoyed it and uh, let me know if you have any questions um next video i might want to try a different approach uh maybe something completely different but um we'll see in the next video so bye for now and see you in the next.